Evening everyone, this is Coleman from Coleman's Coins and Currency, and today we have our Indianapolis to Indiana coin show trip recap video. So it's a little bit later than when we usually film as I have been dealing with some technology difficulties and not having an access to a printer at this time, but... We are going to make a video about what we bought today at the Indianapolis coin show. And there were some amazing notes. So first off, we have a 1902 $5 plain back national currency. This is from the Millican National Bank of Decatur, Illinois, which is a very scarce charter now, you viewers know that I know a lot about Illinois Nationals because I used to live in Illinois for a very, very long time, and, and I grew up there. So this is like, like mid-central Illinois, kind of like by, I think, to the best of my knowledge, I, I think it's by like Morris, I think. It's the little south of Grundy County, but this is as serial number 82045, that's the charter number, now this note is lower grade, as you can see it's got what appears to be some staining, it's got a little bit of a paper pull right there, it's got some staining, Here's the reverse of the note. Now, this note I paid $75 for at the coin show. And this note is currently for auction on my eBay store, which is Coleman's Coins and Currency. And this note, I think, is going to bring anywhere from 130 to 160. I think this is going to be a really good note and it is extremely scarce to find large size Decatur notes that that cheap. So this was a really good note buy. Next up, we have a Confederate 100. Now, I've sold a a ton of these. This style always does the best. This is from, it appears to be January 3rd, 1863. It does have two cancellation stamps on the back, which does add, add value to the note. I paid a hundred and these go anywhere from like 173 all the way up to like 300, 400 dollars. I've had very good luck with these notes. Next up, we have a 2004 a $10 Federal Reserve note. This has a, a very fancy serial number on it. 27277777. I paid $13 for this note, and as you viewers can see, I have a, a $50 price tag on it, and this note is going to go to the Calumet Numismatic Club's yearly coin show. Now, I've talked to our coin club president, and I'm going to get a table for, for the show, and we're going to have lots of of amazing foreign currency, fancy serial numbers, rare coins, and so much more at that show. It's going to be Saturday, October 29th at the St. Matthias Church in Crown Point, Indiana. And the show is going to be from 9 till 3. So there is a little show background, and here's a really nice higher grade. I would say that this note has got a couple folds. I'd say it would be a low XF40. Next up, we have something really cool. This is a Scotland 1959 one pound note, but, but, but what makes this really cool, 
this note is a short snorter note. Now, a short snorter has signatures on it, usually from World War II soldiers. And if you were at a reunion or at any bar and a so- and a fellow soldier told you pull out your short snorter and if you didn't have it you would have to buy the whole bar an entire round of drinks now this note is for sale and if any of you viewers are interested in in this note please leave a comment down below that you are interested in in this note and depending on the price this note is for sale and we will be able to work out a deal and we will go from there and then i bought a a few bahamas government colorized notes now i have sold these in the past and they have done very, very, very well. I've had some for my client. I had a, I had like, I had a lot of maybe six of them, and it went for close to five hundred dollars. So we did. So we have three of them. This is a half dollar colorized Bahama note. This is a very scarce series because really this is the first series about the Mahama government. There is the recently dead Queen Elizabeth on the on the, on the note. So with that current event going on at the time of recording, these notes with with her portrait are just going to skyrocket in value. So you viewers better get this note while you uh, while you can this will be posted sometime not this week but the but the following week onto my eBay store then we have a 1974 same thing $1 colorized note and and then we got another $1 colorized note i paid $2 for this note i paid $2 for this note and and I paid ten dollars for the sixty five, so this whole whole group, I'm thinking is gonna bring anywhere from uh from like one fifty to like two fifty. I think it's gonna be a a a really really good group, right there. And then we did buy buy one coin. This is a very rare coin, and, and, and I've done some research on it. This is a 1915 Cuba. Vente Centavos coin. Now, this is a very rare coin. They minted 1.9 million of these coins. And this was in a huge tub of just all foreign coins for five bucks. And this is a, a very expensive coin, viewers. So I picked this up today at the show for five dollars. And in my World Coin Catalog book, now this is a book that I use to to price all of, uh, all of my coins. This is a 2003 catalog, so it's about n- about 19 years old, but it is still extremely accurate in world coin values. And this coin, if this coin was in a mint state, it would be worth six hundred and fifty dollars. Now, in an in an uncirculated grade, this coin w- is worth about three hundred. Now, I graded this coin at a, a at a about uncirculated AU fifty, and I am going to be trying to get. for this one rare Cuban coin. 
Not bad for five bucks. So, very rare coin, and this is super scarce. And the details on on here are just really, really a- just stunning. Absolutely beautiful, and it's such a rare coin, and it's something that you do not see everyday viewers. And then we got a lot of other notes. There's a $2 Canada note. I paid 10 for this today at the show. Here is a very rare 1973 Canada $1 star note. This is mega rare, and these are super scarce notes. I paid 5 and we're going to try to get 50 Here's a one pound note. I, I paid seven and a half. We're going to try to get 15. Here is a five dollar Australia polymer note. I paid seven, 15, paid two, 10. This is a very interesting note. This is a 10 Lewis pounds from Scotland. Now, now Lewis is a town in Scotland that that continues and did issue and currently issues pound notes. Now, these are super rare notes, and I paid $25, and we're putting a $125 tag on it because it is super scarce, and really, it's the only note known. And then we got a Korean won. We got some scarcer, really nice uncirculated Bulgarian notes. Here's a cool lower grade Netherland note that's very scarce. Now, a lot of these notes I paid anywhere from 50 cents to four to five dollars per note. It just really. To, you know, depends on the note. Like that one, I paid for. That one, I paid fifty cents. That one, I I paid two. You know, so yes. So there's a wide variety of foreign notes that we're gonna sell at the show, and there's just you know so many notes, and they're from all different countries, and they are less than two hundred dollars. So there's really. Nothing that's super expensive. Here is a $10 Canal Bank obsolete note for for $75. So there's a lot of really, really cool notes there. And that is pretty much all that we bought at the great Indianapolis, Indiana, 71st Street Coin and Currency Show today. So, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on those push bell notifications so that you viewers will never miss another epic numismatic video. And yes, all of these notes are for sale, so if you are interested in a particular note, please leave a comment in in the comment section down below below and tell me what note uh, you would be interested in and of course the you know what price of the note as all the these notes are for uh, are for sale so if you want to reach out that's a, that's cool I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can if you want one note or five notes or you want you know two notes or you want them all or what or or whatever that case may be so i will see you viewers in another video in the near future and take care